have you met someone really like them things are going wonderful you guys are really into each other you tell them how much you like them you make an effort you show them and then they start going cold and pulling away and you don't know why and the more effort you make the more they're cold towards you their responses change their energy changes you sense it and you feel it and you know something isn't right if that's the case then there are certain things that you should avoid doing because all you will do is just shoot yourself in the foot and push them further and further away so we're going to look at why this happens and things not to do if you're in this position if you haven't been to my page welcome i'm hamasa i look at personal development as well as day-to-day -day issues and mental and emotional well-being please do subscribe to my page so that you're up to date with all my content this resonates with a bunch of other relationship video topics that i've done like um, avoiding attachment styles trauma bonding um, and things like that but i just want to go over because it's something that happens all the time is human nature is a push and pull effect if someone pulls away you tend to push you tend to give more because you want to compensate for the lack that they're giving so if that's the, that's the case the worst thing you can do is actually chase we never chase we attract so the more you chase the more you devalue yourself and my saying and i've had captions on this and everything is that you always know your worth and value and then you add tax on it because if you don't set the standard of your worth and value, then no one else will. They're not, no one's going to respect you or see your worth if you're going to walk around devaluing yourself. So there's a number of reasons why people pull away in relationships when things are great at the start. And then once things get a little bit more serious or intense, one person just switches off or changes and then you're left confused. So. Like I said, there's a number of reasons, they could be anything, but the one thing that mainly triggers this reaction is if we put a lot of importance on that person. If we're too intense, this puts someone off because really, we don't really know them that well. We're getting carried away with the picture or the image that we've built of this person in our heads, not what the reality actually is. So this person is aware that you don't know them that well at all, and they haven't earned in their place to be on this pedestal, yet you're putting them on that pedestal. That says something about your lack of self-worth and lack of confidence. Because if you don't know this person, why on earth are you giving them this much importance? Or you're relying your day, your schedule, your happiness everything that you're doing is now revolving around this person that means that there's a lack of something in your life and if the other person is trying to take to, to take their time to get to know you then you're this intense with them and you've put them on a pedestal then it shows them that you're really lacking something it slightly reeks of desperation and nobody likes desperate people so this is the image that you're creating of yourself in the other person's mind. So the minute you're intense, they're like, oh, this isn't for me because now I feel pressured, I feel pushed. And at the same time, clearly something's wrong because I've barely done anything for, the, for this person for them to feel like this. I've barely earned it. I've barely shown myself. I don't know them. They don't really know me. And yet I'm this important. There's too much responsibility. It's too much pressure and they're lacking something so that's a turn off the more you put value on someone else the more you're devaluing yourself the reason you do this most times if you take a step back and look at the bigger picture isn't because this person is an amazing partner they're kind they're compassionate they're treating you great and you can't get them out of your head and can't stop thinking about them because they're so amazing and you want them in your life most times you're like this and you're ruminating and thinking about them all the time because they're not giving you what you truly desire and want is the idea of them and so you're like desperate to try and make them see you're getting frustrated you're getting angry because you want them to see what you're seeing which means that the reality isn't what you're making it out to be so this is what falls down to trauma bonding is that high that we chase of being 
wanting something, having a craving, projecting, and it's a lack within ourselves, lack of worth and value, lack of confidence, and lack of understanding ourselves. So we ded dedicate ourselves to this new person. This is why they cannot respect you or value you because they think that even with this minimal effort, this person is obsessed with me and is chasing me, I don't really need to do much. So complacency kicks in because they know you're not going anywhere. They already got what they want out of you. You are in the palm of their hand. Why would they make more effort? For what? And this is where the cycle begins. So when someone pulls away from you, you need to not look at it as this is my worth and value. I'm not worth enough to them. That's why they're pulling away and that's why they don't want me. It's more that if you don't see the worth in me, then you're not really valuable to me because this is not the kind of life I want for myself. I don't see myself being with someone who doesn't appreciate being with me or doesn't value being with me, doesn't respect it is complacent and is taking it for granted. And where you have made an effort and you have shown, you need to understand that there needs to be a limit and boundary that, oh, if you don't appreciate the effort that I'm making, if you don't appreciate the fact that I tried to make this work, then you are not worthy of this or deserving and therefore you need to earn that. There will be consequences of you being unsure of me if you're not sure of me, then I'm going to pull back my effort and appreciation and, you know, being there for you because it's clearly not valued anyway. That's how you need to see it. The minute someone pulls away, you need to understand that your life goes on with or without them. You're still you and you're still doing things like your job, your friends, your family, your hobbies. Your worth and value doesn't depend on this person. If And if this person doesn't see you for all that you bring to the table, all that you are, what you stand for, all the effort that you're making for them, then they're not valuable to you. They're basically just a dead weight weighing you down. And why do you want that? So that's what you need to consider that most times when we really miss someone or want them around, it's not because they're, that, they're amazing, it's because they're triggering something in us and we feel unfulfilled because we're not really getting what we want and so the human nature kicks in and we want to chase and achieve it and prove that we're amazing and prove. But who are we proving to? The only person that we really need to prove that to is ourselves. And we shouldn't base our worth and value on someone else's opinion. We know who we are. And if you don't know that, you don't need to be in my life. That's the mindset that we need to move forward with when someone is pulling away from us. You need to teach someone how to treat you. You need to teach someone your worth and value. If you don't do it, other people won't. And that's what I will keep repeat saying it. You need to set the standard for yourself. And what happens here, if someone hasn't had enough time to get to know you and you do this, this is gonna make them want to get to know you or appreciate you more because you're showing self-respect and therefore you're commanding respect from them. They will understand that being complacent will not, you wouldn't stand for it. And so if they truly appreciate that, they will make that effort and get to know you and reciprocate it. But if they don't, and that's what puts them off, then great, because they never were going to see that anyway. So why do you want to be with someone like that? What is it about that that would make you want to be happy moving forward? If you're constantly worried about your partner and knowing how amazing you are, otherwise they'll leave, then that's not life or a relationship. So whenever you find yourself in a position where you really like someone and they start changing up and going cold on you, instead of thinking that, oh my God, I need to prove to them what I'm worth, you need to picture your future and see whether you want to be with a partner that you're constantly on edge or having to prove your worth for them to want to be with you. And you need to see, is that the kind of life I want or do I want a partnership that's kind, compassionate, secure, safe and I'm valued and appreciated. And most times you will realize that it's your own insecurities and projections and really that person doesn't bring anything but a bit of excitement, fun, looks, charm, 
which isn't going to make you feel secure in the long run if they're not showing you consistency. I hope that this puts things into perspective that whenever you're with someone, it should be of mutual value. You shouldn't want to fight for something when they're not fighting back with you. You should. There are things that you can fight for and it's things like obstacles that you mutually face and things that you agree together to fight for to make your relationship better. But if it's someone seeing your worth you're fighting for, if it's against complacency you're fighting for, then it's definitely not the right place for you to be or not the relationship for you to be in. I hope you guys found this helpful. If you have, please do subscribe to my page so that you're up to date with all my weekly content. Please share this with someone who may need it. Like and comment on this video and I will see you guys again here next week. Thank you so much for watching. Mwah.